sure. So maybe like super, thanks to my friends that have eyes up here and are listening. So maybe like, would you use the word maybe damaging? So maybe it does a lot of damage. It maybe it wrecks buildings or it, Dominic? Um, I think severe weather is when it's, it's, it's like a nice outside and sometimes the weather's so bad outside. Okay, so is damaging weather when it's like nice outside like how it is today? Yeah. Or is it like when it's like super snow and we don't have school? Yeah. Thanks, Layla, for a quiet hand. So is it like the weather today, or is it like when it's super snowy and we don't have school? Kind of like both, kind of. Okay. So damaging weather is when it's like, it's really, um, it's hurting something. So maybe it's uh, moving some buildings. Maybe it's taking down trees because it's so windy. Maybe, thanks, Jensen, for sitting crisscross applesauce. Okay. Kylie? Um, it's really snowy and you don't have school. Very good. It's damaging weather is when it's like, it's something severe. So it's something that's, that's not normal, right? So does it snow really bad every day here? No. All right, let's see what she says. Our big question, what's severe weather? We know that weather is a condition of the air or atmosphere on our planet. Severe weather is the same thing, only more extreme. But who knows what extreme means? If something's extreme. Kylie? Like almost um, a piece of candy, a piece of candy that's really sour. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like extra, right? So she's saying severe weather <laughs> is weather, but it's like extra. It's extra windy. It's extra snowy. It's go ahead, Lennon. You want to add something? Um, I think um, extra weather is when it's like really cold and snowy. Okay, so it's like extra something, right? It's like super something. Okay. So I'm going to read this book. I'm not going to read the whole book because it's kind of long, but I'm going to read a few pages out of it to you guys. Okay? Thanks for not shouting out at me. Okay. It is called Tornado Alley. It is by Franklin M. Branley. What's this? Very good, okay? So the first one says, Tornadoes are powerful storms. On a tornado day, the air is hot and still. Clouds build, build up rapidly. They get thick and dark. In the distance, there is thunder and lightning, rain and hail. Raise your hand if you've ever seen hail. Here and there, parts of the clouds seem to reach toward the ground. The, should these parts grow larger and become funnel-shaped, watch out. The funnels could become tornadoes. So what kind of shape are tornadoes in? One of our 3D shapes in math. Colin? A cone. A cone. Boy, you guys got it. I'm impressed. So it's like a cone, right? Like an ice cream cone. It's like a big cone. During a tornado, there is thunder and lightning, rain and hail, and there is lots of noise. It can sound as loud as a freight train or a jet engine. The word tornado comes from a Latin word that means thunder. Some of the noise does not come from thunder, but most of it comes from the roaring wind. There is lots of noise and lots and lots of wind. Okay? You guys have time, we're going to stop right there. What we're going to make a list of is... I know, that was super short. But when we're low on time because we had accidents at recess, this is what we have to do, right? Okay. So what we're going to talk about is different types of severe weather. Okay, what I want you to do right now is stand up. Find a partner with the same colored hair as you and talk about what, what types of severe weather are there. I said about five of them in the book in the two pages I read, okay? So the same color hair, so that's Kylie, Isabel, Jensen, Ava, Dominic, uh, Eric, Catalina, Yandel, Imogen, Colin, uh, Lyndon, Oliver, RJ, Adeline. Okay, so that's already, everybody has a partner. Jensen, Ava, Dominic, Eric, Kylie, Isabel, Yandel, Catalea, Imogen, Colin, Adeline, Ava, and RJ, can you join Oliver and Lyndon? Thanks to my friends that listened the first time. Come on Go with Aiden. I want to be your partner. 
to hear talking. What are different types of severe weather? Thanks, Layla. That was really sweet. Very good. Yeah. What else? Very good. This is severe weather. And I know in the book um, that I read, thanks, Jason, you can sit down also. There was hail, thunder, lightning when they were describing the tornado, right? Right, kindergarten? Yeah. Okay. So when there's a tornado, maybe what's one thing that you would see if there's a tornado? Kylie. Lightning. Very thunder. well. Very good. Colin. Wind. Jensen, could you please join us on the carpet? Oh, wind. Very windy. Lyndon? Thunder. Thunder. Very good. Okay, so let's start writing some of those, okay? So thunder is a severe weather because is thunder something that we see every day outside? Wow. Not really, right? Dominic, you have one? Um, what was the book about? A tornado. Good. Tornadoes. Aiden, do you have one? Yes. What? Rain. Rain, okay. So if it rains a lot, what is that called? Lightning. Okay, I'll write lightning. Thanks to my friends that are not having side conversations. Damage, okay. So when we say severe weather, that is damaging weather, right? So it's weather, remember on the video, Dominic, it said it's extra, right? So good try, Kylie. Um, storms. Okay, what kind of storms? What makes us not have to come to school? No storms. Very good. Snowstorms. Who else has one? Oliver. Tornadoes. Tornadoes. Got that one. Eric. Hail. Good. What's hail? Talk with your partner. on their carpet spot. Okay, let's see, what do we talk about? RJ? What did you guys talk about, you and your partner? What does hail mean? What is that? What is hail? Um, it means like a big ball of hail. Okay, so it's, it's usually kind of a big and it's usually kind of in a ball shape. Very good, who was your partner? Imogen, will you have something to add? Um, that it's a big snowball. Okay, not quite snow, but pollen? Rain? Ice ball. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like the rain comes down and it's so cold that it freezes it, and then it's like a ball of ice. What? Yeah, it could break on What can hail do to your car? Talk with your partner.
are sitting on their carpet spot, crisscross and facing toward me. What what did we talk about? What happens when hail hits your car? Oliver. Breaks it how? So it might break a window? What else, Eric? Damage. Might damage the car? Okay. What's that mean when you say damage the car? Um, it breaks. It breaks it? Very good, Linda. It could break the window and go into the car and make it all wet. I know. You know, one time my car had hail damage and it kind of like made little indents in my car, like on the top of it. Did you get cut by glass? No. Yeah, like dents. Exactly, Oliver. Good. Okay. So what's another form of severe weather to write up here? Uh, RJ. Um, rain. Okay, rain. So if it rains a lot, what's that called? If it rains a lot. Huh? Linden? Flooding. Flooding. Very good. Yeah, flooding. Flooding. Like it's flooding. So... Thanks, friends, for not talking when I'm talking. And into your bathroom. So maybe your basement flood. Okay. Raise your hand if your basement has flood before. It had a bunch of water to it all the way up. Maybe you guys. Oh, Mrs. Voschultz is raising her hand. Uh oh. I bet she had to clean it all up, take everything out of the basement, clean it all up, put it all back. Right. While my husband was in Ireland. Even better. So she didn't even have any help, right? It can be boring. Well, it could be a lot of work, right? You have to move everything out of the basement and then put it back. Anyway, these are very good um, suggestions, or excuse me, um, examples of severe weather. Okay? Okay? Now what we're going to Oh, kindergarten. Now what we're going to do, just like the objective says is we are going to write three different types of severe weather. And if we have time, we're drawing a tornado, okay? What are we gonna do first? Write your name on the back. Very good, write your name. I do want your name on there. Thank you, friends. But after our name, what are we gonna do, RJ? Draw, um, draw Right, three different types of severe yeah. weather. Listen, class, if you can't think of any, maybe remember, think of all the extra, extra um, weather that we've ever had. Maybe when school was canceled or maybe a time that you had to go sit in your basement and wait. Think about those times. And if you really can't think of a time, we made a chart of them, okay? So we're writing three different types of severe weather. And then if we still have extra time, because we have about 10 minutes, we're going to draw a tornado. And remember what Colin said, what shape was that tornado in? A cone, very good. Oh, 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 oh Scooby Dooby. Scooby Dooby. Let's keep ourselves in control. markers. Well, your name, okay. So then what are we doing second? Writing. Okay, kindergarten freeze. I see friends with markers in their hands. Kindergarten freeze. Some of my friends are still not frozen. We're writing our name in our pencil. Then we're going to write three different types of severe weather still in pencil. And then, if you have time after, you can draw your tornado and you may use your marker. Is that very clear? Okay. Yes. So what three types of severe weather do you want? Okay, so if you rain a lot, what's that called? Look at the right direction. Not just the first. Thanks for the great reminder, friend. Mm -hmm. 
flush what you're talking about when it hits your car. What was that called? Ice. Okay, and what was that? Ice ball. Yep, what were the ice balls called? Very good. Good. Now trace those, and then you can draw your first. Okay. Now, what are you gonna write? What are your three things? Tornado. Okay. You see that up there? How to write it? The second one down. Quietly, your voices are off, and it looks like you're trying so hard. Okay, Isabel. Which one are you doing? I see your tornado, but we're supposed to write three different types of tornado. Which three different types of tornado are we going to write about? Which one? Which one? Three different types of snowstorms. Mm -hmm. Is it 